Welcome back. Uh, you're watching Robin Minds. We have an entertainer in the house, um, reality star, actor, musician, uh, comedian, maybe, Instagram <laughs> uh, celebrity, <laughs> Bisola Ayola. Thanks for being here Thank today. You First runner of Big me. Brother Niger. Thank you. Did I get all your qualifications? Uh, yeah, Anything you like many? A, but that comedian one, Shai. <laughs> <laughs> you were a comedian on the show, weren't you? But you were the... That's what, that's what a lot of yeah. people said. I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know, but I tried. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome. I mean, you, you had a great run on Big Brother. Yeah. And um, let me start with that now. Because before the show, you had some, some sort of notoriety, actually, yeah. before you went on the show. Yeah. You had some sort of fame. You had quite a huge following on social media. You I were see. acting already, yeah. you know. What did this add to you? Because people, some people even felt at the time, why, why did they even take her on this show? Sure. She was already famous anyways. Mm -hmm. um, what did this show do for you, Big Brother? Um, okay, let me just use this as an example. Yeah. Um, I go to a mall, and then I have people walk up to me and say, oh, you kind of look familiar. Mm. <laughs> it's like, I know, did you go to this school? Did you go to that school? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm not the person, you know. But now... Even with me ducking my head, I be so loud, be so loud, you know. So um, basically what I wanted um, was a bigger platform to showcase myself, and that's what Big Brother did for me. Yeah. Um, it's the the, the um, social media, yes, um, I had about 40,000 followers before going to the house, but now it's like, I'm, and I'm wondering to myself, this. like, yeah, like <laughs> they're really following, like, oh my goodness. So it's like massive now, and um, I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful for the opportunity. I was able to at least show a bit of, Talents. I've been able to meet people I never in my wildest, my wildest dream, oh, wow. my braces, yeah, <laughs> my wildest <laughs> dreams ever thought that you know I would meet. Yeah. And yes, I'm I'm really grateful. When you look back on that show now yes. and um, the persona yes. that people, the way people perceive you, yes. are you happy with you know how the run went? Because some people go on reality shows and like. You come out. You come out of the house, and they say, "Ah, oh, you were like." You're like, "No, that wasn't actually what." Are you happy with you know the response people gave? Like, "Oh, um, this was what they thought of you." Um, well, it's a two-way thing. Um, I like the fact that people recognize me as an entertainer because I went on the show, and to the best of my ability, I tried to entertain. But what um, I think people just kind of think, okay, the Bissola that we saw on Big Brother Ninja, that's how she is through and through. I have my quiet moments. I have moments when I want to think. I have moments when I'm serious, like really serious. The other day, I, w I walked into an office and, you know, I was polite, greeted everybody. Hi, 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 good afternoon. And I sat down. I don't know these people from Adam. They're strangers to me. And the next thing, some guy just walks up to me and says, why are you forming? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> How do you mean I'm from? This is not the Bissola we know. I'm like, yo, fam. Do you expect me to just walk into the room and be like, hey, what's up? How are you doing? It's, it doesn't work that way. The only time you get to see me come out of my shell is when I'm comfortable with people, which also happened. It's not like on the first day of the show, you didn't see me talking to everybody. And no, I got comfortable with the fellow housemates. And then, yeah. you know, more of Bissola came to, yeah. came to me. So people kind of just have that thing that yeah. feeling like oh yes this is the bisola we know this is how she should be whenever yeah. we meet I, her. I asked that because a lot, a lot of a lot of the time while you were on the show the anger and bullying kept coming up oh did you have anger issues is she a bully mm -hmm. you know it, it kept recur yeah. recurring you know yeah. are, th are those true statements of you Th those are not true statements of me um as much as i try i try, I try as much as possible to let myself uh out when i'm upset because I have lived a number of years in my life bottling things in, and it didn't do me any good. You know, I walk around with this lump in my chest, upset at somebody who doesn't even know that they upset me. So if you make me upset, I just let it out, and once it's done, it's out there. I do not like bullies, personally. You know, I have a couple of friends that I have stood up for in the past, like, why are you doing this to this person? Why? Because she can't talk, you know? So when people were saying, I was, I'm like, mm, maybe that's their own way of trying to make me look bad on the show. Like coming out of it, you know. But I'm not. I'm not a bully. Uh, I believe in standing up for yourself. Now, if you can defend yourself, just go ahead and defend yourself, because nobody else would defend you yeah. uh, better than yourself. Uh, I'm not a bully, and uh, maybe I talk a lot, yeah, because I'm, I'm a bit expressive. I'm a bit expressive, and it's something I learned in the later part of my life, and I do not regret it. Yeah. I don't regret it. But I'm not. Hon a honestly, now, were there times when you looked at the housemates, like the other housemates, and were like, hmm, I'll win this thing? Honestly, no. be honest. Honestly, no. Honestly, no. It never crossed my mind. What was running through my mind at the time was, 
God, I beg, help me now. <laughs> Why would these people just gather all these kind of talents and put in the house, you know, making the work even more difficult for me? You know, but I never, I never thought I was only going to make it to the finals in the first place. Why was that? Like I said, there's so many talented people in the house, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, ah, okay, Ms. Ola, if you do one week here, you better make the most of it if you get out. <laughs> so that's how basically it, it you know, it. But I'm went. sure as you got closer to the week, to the fire, you started yeah. seeing the money at least. Yeah, I was seeing the money, and I remember my last diary session, you know, I was asked, so if, the, if you're to win the money, who, like, who is your greatest threat? You know, yeah. I said, it was FA. And, you know, he was the one person left in the house that I said, if that money is over there, and I need to pause <laughs> and get it, he's the one that will be blocking me. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. You also said that a lot about Tony. Because yes. I remember even up until the final, I think it was the final day when I was in the house that you realized yes. that he was married. Because you had seen his yes, when yes. he was talking and you were like, yes. Tony's married. You know? <laughs> yes. Up until then, you see, figured, you thought, mm, even him leaving, he must have been a fake housemate. That's yes. how much yes. of, a, of, a, yes. of a big deal you thought he was. Yes. And what was it about him, you know, that made you think that? Because that, besides you, a lot of the other housemates also thought he was going to win. Because he, uh, to me, I don't know about other yeah. people, but to me he was very entertaining. He was uh, creative. He was funny, you know. We could, we'd have different tasks and uh, he would, you know, do well in the task to my, the best of my own knowledge. So that's what I felt. I saw him as a threat. I did tell him a couple of times that, yeah, I see you as big competition for me. And uh, because of these factors, I just felt like, okay, yeah, he was going to make it to the finals. Yeah. But apparently not. <laughs>